Hi there, in this video we're going to be demonstrating the conditions under which least squared estimators are unbiased and we're going to be doing it in matrix form. So in matrix form we have that the least squared estimator beta hat is equal to x primed x to the power minus 1 times x primed y, where y is our dependent variable. And we said that in the population we suppose that there is some sort of population process which determines our vector of y and that's just equal to our matrix of independent variables times the true population beta plus some population error u. And we can use this expression for y to substitute in for our y in this below expression here for beta hat. So if we use that, then we can write out the whole thing as x primed x to the power minus 1 times x primed. And then substituting this thing in here, I get for the first term x beta. And then I get a second term, which is just x primed x to the power minus 1 times x primed u. And how can I simplify this thing? Well, this is actually just some matrix time inverted times itself. And we know from the definition of the inverse of a matrix that the inverse of a matrix A times itself is in fact just the identity matrix. And then the identity matrix times beta is just the vector beta. So this first term simplifies greatly, I'm just left with beta. And then the second term here is just x primed x to the power minus 1 times x primed u. Okay, so that, that's the sort of general form of our sort of least squared estimator. I haven't made any assumptions yet. Now we have to go ahead and find the expectation of beta hat. So if we go ahead and find the expectation of beta hat, then the expectations operator is just a linear operator. This first term here, the beta, is just a constant. The expectation of a constant is just itself. And for this second term here, we have to use the zero conditional mean of errors assumption. And if we do use that, then it turns out that the expectations operator just passes straight through all of these x terms here because our errors, our u, are completely independent of the x terms. So our expectations operator, even though it's sort of operating on whole, all of this stuff, it just passes through the first terms here, and I'm just left with the expectations of u, which we know under the zero conditional mean of errors is in fact zero. So this te second term here just disappears, and we're left with the expectations of beta hat just equal to the true population parameter beta. So we have proved that under the zero conditional mean of errors assumption, that our least squared estimator beta hat is indeed unbiased because the expectations of beta hat is in fact beta. So what does that say? Well, that says if I take repeated samples from my population and I apply my least squared estimator to each of those samples, then on average, it, my least squared estimator gets it right. It gets our true population parameter beta. In the next video, we are going to go through and we're going to derive the variance of least squared estimators under the assumption of homoscedastic errors and under the assumption that we don't have any serial correlation. I'll see you then.